In this video, I'll show you how to create a timeline in Excel. Creating a timeline in Excel is better than creating a timeline in PowerPoints because it reduces the amount of manual efforts to create the timeline and also increases precision as you're able to place the events exactly where you want to. This will help if you have a project and want to provide stakeholders with a big picture overview of future objectives or deadlines. Excel does not offer a built-in timeline application, so to overcome this, we'll create the timeline by using a column chart. To get started, we need to set up a table like this with a list of tasks and their dates in chronological order. Next, we're going to assign a one or a minus one next to each task. This will determine whether the given event will be above the horizontal date axis of the timeline or below it. The purpose of this is to ensure that the timeline is clear and not overcrowded. Finally, we're going to format what we want the data labels in our timeline to display. We want our data labels to show the task at the top of each node and the date below it. And we want the date to be abbreviated as we don't need to show the year, for example. Therefore, we can type equals and reference the task, followed by an ampersand. And then we're going to use the character function, open brackets and type a 10. The purpose of this is to move text to the next line. This is because we want our data labels to display the date on a line below the task. After this, we'll add another ampersand and we'll use the text function to format how we want the date to appear. First, we select the date that we want to show, followed by a comma, and then specify how we want it to be displayed. In our case, we want two digits representing the day and three letters to represent the month. We can then close brackets and click enter. To create the timeline chart, select the date and the height columns excluding the column headings. Next, go into the insert tab and click the column or bar chart icon and then select the clustered column chart. Next, we're going to click on the chart elements plus icon and we'll remove the chart title, the grid lines, as well as the vertical axis. We will then select more data label options. We're going to untick the value option as we don't need the event heights to be showing and instead we'll tick the value from cells option. This is because we want column E to be used as the data label instead of column D, which represents the heights. Therefore, select the cells within the data label column. Next, we're going to format the Y axis containing the dates. For the minimum, we're going to select the start of April to ensure that there is some space between the start of the timeline and the first task. And we'll select the 1st of August as the end date for the same reason. For the units, we're going to select one month. This is because all we need to show on the Y axis are the months and not individual days. Finally, we're going to format the Y axis to show the date in just the month format, excluding the days and the year. To do this, select the number dropdown, then select the custom format, and we'll select this format here. Let's also remove tick marks to remove the small lines above the month labels. Our timeline is already looking much closer to the finished product. Let's now format it to make it more visually appealing. 
Firstly, we'll format the horizontal axis by selecting it, going into the Format tab and clicking Shape Outline. We're going to increase the weight and change the colour to dark blue to make it stand out. Finally, we're going to add an arrow to make it clear that it's in chronological order. Next, select the vertical blue lines and then go into the Format tab and select No Fill. Then click the Chart Elements Plus icon and select the Error Bars More Options. Select Minus for the direction, No Cap and Percentage for Error Amounts, setting the percentage to 100%. Here we're also going to increase the weight and change the colour to blue. To make the timeline integrate with the rest of the Excel sheets, we're going to remove the outside border by right clicking the charts and then selecting no line. So that's how to create a simple timeline in Excel. This provides a good foundation and now you can go ahead and make additional style changes as you wish. The benefits of creating a timeline in Excel is that if you change the dates like this, this will automatically reflect in the timeline, saving you a lot of time formatting to get the dates exactly where you want them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.